Today I'm going to present my defence of the British Book Awards from the vile, racist and sexist attacks of Candice Carty Williams. Her critically acclaimed debut novel, Queenie, has won the prestigious Book of the Year Award at this year's Nibbies. For a debut novel to win such an award, one would, as she said, feel very proud. Yet at the same time, she claims she also feels sad. Now I wonder what on earth could dampen such an occasion. Reacting to her win, Carty Williams said, I don't quite know how I feel about winning Book of the Year. I'm proud of myself, yes, and grateful to the incredible team that helped me get Queenie out of my head and onto the shelves. I'm also sad and confused that I am the first black and female author to have won this award since it began. She continued, Overall, this win makes me hopeful that although I'm the first, the industry are waking up to the fact that I shouldn't and won't be the last. <laughs> Let her have a fun. She'll be the bloody last. The bloody <laughs> bastard. <laughs> now I'm not about to sit here and pretend to you that the literary community are not a bunch of hardline right wingers. But bear with me. Let's just see if from an academic viewpoint I can successfully defend only one black woman winning an annual award that has been running since 1994 in the UK. Q montage. So there I was, one working class lad from a mining town, fighting back against the mainstream narrative. I knew it weren't gonna be easy, but I did have one thing left in me locker. My white privilege. And so it came to me. If I could just prove that black women were not underrepresented at the British Book Awards, I'd have them by the balls. The most recent census in 2011 highlights that in England and Wales, 80% of the population were white British. Asian, Pakistani, Indian, Bangladesh and other groups made up 6.8% of the population. Black groups, 3.4%. Chinese groups, 0.7%. Arab groups, 0.4% and other groups 0.6%. Now, in her reaction to winning the award, Candice Carty-Williams highlights the fact that she is the first black and woman recipient of the award since this award began in 1994. So, to my mind here, the suggestion from Candice Carty-Williams here is that being black and a woman are both disadvantages when being judged for eligibility to win this prize. Well, let's do the math. Is black, sorry, is being black a disadvantage for winning Book of the Year at the British Book Awards? Well, first of all, we saw earlier in the video that 3.4% of the British population are black. So therefore, the author needs to be black on 3.4% of the occasions. Now, the first Book of the Year award, uh, the first time that was a category was in 1994 at the British Book Awards. That makes 2020 the 27th year. So the calculation we need to do to work out if it's truly representative, not of talent, but of the racial makeup of the UK, is the following. 0 0.034 times 27. And that is the amount of times that a black author needs to have won it since 1994, 0 0.918. So at the moment, slightly overrepresenting the black population, I think, the British Book Awards, be careful, you know, the white people and the Asians will start to complain. Um, but uh, we're, we're pretty close, we're pretty close. You know, 27, it was always gonna be difficult to be exactly on point, but um, we're pretty close. We've had one black winner in 27 years. That is um, almost perfect, almost perfect. Well done. 
So what about being a woman? Is being a woman a disadvantage at the British Book Awards for the Book of the Year category? That's all we're interested in at the moment. There are about 50% of the population, no, women, I think, no, something like that. So hopefully if there's 14 women, because if there's more women, that's better, I think. So we've got Candice Carty Williams, woman, good. Good start. Sally Rooney, woman, so that's two. Gail Honeyman, three. Okay, excellent. Sarah Perry, four. We're assuming all of these women uh, identify as women. Uh, 2015 and 16, there was no award. So now we need even fewer women. We only need uh, uh, out of 25, uh, 13 for it to be truly representative, slightly overrepresentative of women, but that's better than it being overrepresentative of men. So far, uh, the last four years have been women, so that's good. Jesse Barton, Burton, sorry, that's uh, five, good. Neil Gaiman, oh, Jesus Christ, a bloody man won it in 2013. Typical, E.L. James, I checked, she is a woman. Caitlin Moran, okay, seven, we're making progress here. David Bloody Nichols, I'm outraged, I'm outraged. Anyway, Kate Summerscale, excellent, eight, good, I only need a couple more. Ian McEwan, oh, you bastard, Ian. Conan Hal. Igledon, I think they're men, fuckers. J.K. Rowling, woman, yes, and very clearly a woman. Uh, okay, Dan Brown, the bloody bastard. Lynn Tuss, oh, we're on 10. Michael Moore, but it was for stupid white men, so I mean, that kind of counts, doesn't it? That's kind of good. Anyway, we're up to 10. Pamela Stevenson, 11, great. Tony Parsons, bloody Alex Ferguson, patriarchy, of course, he's got one. Helen Fielding, I think that's, is that 11 or 12 now? Deva Sabel, who, what's Deva? Is that a man or a woman? Uh, she is a woman. So we're up to like 12, 13. Delia Smith, that's a woman. Alan Bennett and Jung Chang, also a woman. Well, it seems, oh dear God. So I guess I can attempt to end on a semi-serious note. Let's just, for argument's sake, for a second, assume that this intersectional worldview of equality of outcome is well-intentioned on behalf of most people, at least. I don't think I believe that. But let's just assume that it is, that these diversity quotas, the idea that uh, every sort of aspect of life has to be proportional, proportionally representative of the population, um, Let's just assume that that is well-intentioned. We've broken it down. We've seen that being a woman, as suggested in Candice Carty Williams' original tweet, is not a disadvantage uh, for winning Book of the Year award. In 27 years, if you look at the British population, one black winner is proportionally representative of the black population. The first winner in 1994 was Young Chang of Chinese descent. So how does the argument go forward from here? The point I've tried to make in this video isn't that racism doesn't exist, of course. Um, the point I've tried to make is that when you go looking for racism everywhere, when you see racism where there is no evidence of it, you're devaluing the experience of people who have suffered real, genuine, objective racism. Listen to Muhammad Ali talking about when he was an Olympic gold medalist going downtown to try and get a meal, and he was told that his people weren't welcome in that establishment. That was racism. I also feel like Candice Carter Williams is sort of unknowingly uh, devaluing her own achievement here. She's written a critically acclaimed novel, her debut novel. Um, she, she's a young novelist, 30 years of age, I believe. Her first novel to get published has won a very prestigious award. And um, I think, I think, it feels like she's devaluing her selection by saying, well, finally, you know, a black woman has won it. As though people in the industry, she even alludes to this in the interview that she gave, that people in the industry are now waking up to the fact that black, I don't know what, that black women have to win more of these awards. So what about if next year a different black woman wins it? Is she going to think, oh, I've won this because I'm genuinely better than all the other writers out there? Or have I won it because of the things that people like Candice Carty-Williams have said? And um, 
and there is now a pressure uh, to, to, to give these awards to people uh, of my race, gender, whatever. Have I won this for my talent or have I won this because of uh, my intersectional score? You know, I'd like to think, and I, and I think Candice Carter-Williams would like to think that she's won this because of her talent. And there's no reason to think that she hasn't. But when that is the reaction, um, well, I, at, at what point does it become, at what point does it start to illegitimize their achievement?